So in front of me is a car that I've never driven before. And let me tell you, I'm very excited for a couple of reasons. If you've been following us for a while now, you know I'm a big proponent of function over form, and to me, the Evo is basically the definition of that in a sedan. Now, the interior is nothing really special. It's got all-wheel drive, it's four-cylinder engine, yet it looks aggressive from almost every angle, and I hear it makes a really good driver's car. So, I want to find out for myself. Let's go take it for a drive. guys, what is going on? We are in a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 5 right now. A car I actually considered getting instead of my MR2, uh, one of the few kind of four-door sedans with a turbo that I would actually consider buying. That and the WRX, obviously. But something about the Evo has always struck a chord with me, whether it be uh, the looks, whether it was kind of different than a WRX. And to me, it just seemed more of a driver's car. So I'm really happy I am behind the wheel of this car right now. So let's see how it goes. So the interior of the Evo, like I was saying before, isn't really all that special. I mean, it's a four-door sedan from the 90s. It doesn't get much more simpler than this. Stock Recaros, though, stock one more steering wheel. You get all the stuff that makes it a good driver's car, but just looking at it and sitting in it, there's nothing really special about it. It's not a Mark IV Supra, it's not an MR2, it's not anything like that. It's kind of got its own feel. This thing is built to take corners, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, my name is Greg, and this is my 1998 Mitsubishi Evolution 5. So this is my third uh, JDM import. My first one was a Skyline, and then I had a Subaru WX STI Type RA, a GC8. And wh when I was importing this, I actually wanted to get another Subaru, but my importer told me that a Evo would be a better deal. And I started kind of researching and looking into it, and I realized that you know I, I wouldn't mind the change, and it, and it looked pretty pretty good to me. So I went for the Evo. When I had the car for a little while, I had catastrophic failure to the motor. So I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do, and I ended up going for a 4G64 block on the car. So it's a 2.4 liter now, not a two liter. Has uh, all forged internals, uh, GSC S1 cams in the head, and then I uh, bolted on a Blausch Dominator 2.0 XTR turbo with a divorced open dump wastegate set, set up on it. So that's basically all the power mods to the car. And besides that, just has coilovers and full exhaust. It's quick, man. This is the thing about these cars. They are lightweight cars. Ask me what driving characteristics I like most in cars. Small, short wheelbase and lightweight, and the Evo is exactly that. That's why for a four-door sedan, it appeals to me so much. Wow. All right, so those open dumps make it, first of all, extremely loud, extremely fast, actually, very quick. Greg's got this car set up, so it's got those open screamer pipes for the wastegate. Man, when you get on boost, it is a loud car, that's for sure. All right, so I'm um, only running around 16 and a half pounds of boost right now. That's as much as we could get out of the car with uh, pump fuel. So with that, made around 343 at the wheels dyno jet. Uh, so the brakes on the car, they come with Brembo stock haven't done anything there. The wheel setup I have on the car is uh, 17 by nine work emotion CR Kai's, just square all around. Uh, I got 225s on them right now, but I bought them like that on Craigslist. I, I kind of want to put 245s and see if they'll fit under the fenders, hopefully. Now, so far, so good. I mean, 
The clutch feel is magnificent. The shifter throws are extremely short, very notchy, very direct, which is what I like in a car. Uh, on a tight road like this, I mean, it just picks up and it goes. The, the weight of a car can really go a long way in just improving the overall cornering momentum, uh, cornering placement, and all that sort of stuff in a car. Just gripping the road like nothing else, soaking up those bumps. Not an issue whatsoever. The best thing about a quick spooling turbo like Greg has on this car is that there's no issues when you're just kind of cruising around, you gotta get around someone. The power is just there. You have none of the downsides of having a turbo car but still having that excitement, especially with those open dumps, it is a great all-around driving experience. I mean, the stock Recaros, no need to switch that out. Stock steering wheel, perfectly fine, stock as is. That's exciting, wow, it's quick. It's a fast car, it's a very fast car. Uh, so this car is my daily driver. It's not just like a fun car or anything like that. And uh, I like to go skiing, so I've got a winter tire set up for it, and I drive in the snow. And I also I even deliver pizza in the car. Right now I'm a student, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I always pack my friends in. It's kind of why I got this car. I figure you know all-wheel drive, four door, also has the performance, but you can use it every day for anything you need. Probably the funniest experience for me which wasn't really funny at the time, was when I had injector failure and completely melted a piston, and I knew that it was completely written off, so I drove it home on the other three cylinders, knowing that it was completely done, and the car wouldn't, obviously wouldn't idle or anything. It had no cylinder pressure. I don't know if I, I guess it didn't really matter that I made it worse, because it's got a whole new motor in it right now, but it was pretty, uh, pretty funny limping at home in hindsight. Setting the chassis whatsoever. Man, that is fun. My God. This car just inspires so much confidence. There's no worry that you're going to oversteer spin out. Whoa, it still pulls. Right to the top of the rev range, it still pulls extremely hard. You definitely do get that fat torque punch right around 3500 rpm but it, you know after five six thousand rpm it still pulls it's still extremely exciting which is awesome shifter feel is actually really good in the shifter knob position you would think that in a sedan like this having the shifter basically on the floor um, would be a detriment to your driving ability when you're going at a decent pace, but it's really not. As I mentioned, the ability to heel tow this car actually right off the bat, it's not an issue. It's one of the easiest cars actually I've ever heel towed downshift in. To get into a car and be able to just downshift like that, you don't get that very often. Man, Greg, I love your car, seriously. Thank you so much for letting me drive it. It's a fantastic experience. Just pure driving experience at its finest.
The only thing that I would change is the steering, the steering feel is great once you get into a corner, but it's very light to it. It doesn't have that much weight, which for me, I don't know, just helps bring me into the experience of taking corners quick and um, just having a lot of fun behind the wheel. That's pretty much the only thing I would change. Driving position is great. I mean, it turns in like nothing. There's zero hint of understeer. You can power on right after the apex of a corner, no problem. Oh man. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go like us on Facebook, Instagram. And remember, we are putting out videos every Tuesday and Thursday now. So we'll see you next time.